So this is where you will see me restore this little Nelly Dawn dress, which you'll see in the photos that I'll attach. What I'm using is um, the Delicate Wash by the Laundress. I love the smell. They also have a really great little spray. You can spray on things to freshen them up in between washings. I'm gonna use OxyClean, the stain remover, the go-to. I use it a little bit differently than some people do. I'll show you what I do. And this is the dress. I use an old pot that's easy to keep warm. This will keep the uh, water warm. It's really important to keep the water warm when you're using OxyClean. Not hot, especially for delicate fabrics. So what I'm gonna do right now is add some cool water to this. Um, it will, of course, the hot water will come out of the kettle. I'll show you, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and fill this pan up with some cool water with a dress in it, and then I will start the process. So the water is in the pan, and I'm going to start the kettle up, and we can go from here, my little kettle, get some hot water for the OxyClean. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna add a little of the laundress, delicate wash, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little swirl. Um, when I start using the OxyClean, I'll put on gloves. I don't like to use OxyClean without the gloves, and I just give it a little, Gentle, gentle, oh, this smells so good. Gentle, you can see already the water is just, ugh. Um, so while we're waiting on the water to boil, I will put a little of the OxyClean. I just kind of scoop, I do it this way. This is the way I do it, because I'm a little bit different than the way some people do it. Um, I do it like this, because I like to have kind of a concentrated um, a concentrate and a spoon to stir it with. And some people like to use the same thing over and over. I had a different pot to put all this in, but it seems to have disappeared while I was in New Orleans. So we'll see when I talk to my husband where it went. He might have just thrown it away. Uh, and I'll get a new one. This one's fine. This is a an old, very old uh, copper bottom pan. So it's copper on the bottom on the outside, not on the inside. I would not use OxyClean with copper bottoms on the inside. So while we're waiting on the water to boil, I'll tell you a little bit about Nelly Dawn. Uh, Nelly, Don, Don, Nelly uh, Donnelly was her full name, and she was born, I think, in 1889, and she died in 1991, both in Kansas City, Missouri. She was an entrepreneur. She started, well, by the time, by the time 1923 came around, she had 250 people working for her making dresses. By the time 1931 came around, I think she had about a thousand and they were making about 5,000 dresses a day. So each person was making five dresses a day and she apparently from all the records treated her employees very, very well. Uh, she was making, I think uh, somewhere around 3.5 million in 1931, her business was, and I'm not sure what that would be today. It'd probably be about 35 million, I'm guessing. It'd be a lot. Uh, by the time the World War II rolled around, she was the largest manufacturer of um, military clothing for women. Uh, she did a really booming business in that, and she is a prime example of women entrepreneurs she was one of the first uh really i mean she was a really successful one of the first not the first i think that one goes to oh what's that lovely woman's name that made the hair pomade but she's the first self-made one of the first self-made american female multi multimillionaires because by the time she died she was worth probably a, 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 a lot 100 million to 120 million and that was in 1991 and that was just from investments. Nellie Don went out of business in the 50s, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe it was the 70s. I just looked over this a little bit. I, I should do a whole video. You know what? I'll do a whole video on Nellie because she's pretty fascinating, in my opinion. So the water is boiled. What I'm going to do now is take the kettle and come back over here. I pour 
very, very hot water into the little cup here with the Oxy in it. This kitchen is actually uh, 1920s, still looks just like it did in the 1920s, except for the refrigerator, which is in the pantry behind me, but it's still in the same spot that the um, ice box would have been back uh, in back then. This house was built in 1922. It's pretty spectacular. I love it very, very much. I don't know if you can see one of the features that I'm really fond of is this little kitchen nook. Uh, it was a little breakfast nook that they would have for people to have their breakfast in when they, and then the, the living room, dining room, all that's outside the kitchen. But it even has the original wood floors, which we need to redo. Um, so anyway, so that's, and you can see right here is one of the stains that I want to get. So I need to make sure that this particular part of the dress is down in the water. Um, some people put a plate on top of it. I don't. Um, it is a clever trick though. So I put in, and you got to make sure that all your OxyClean, you don't want the rough bits of OxyClean, especially this dress has some organza on it. I had to take, and I'll put some photographs up of what I had to do. I had to take the sleeves. Um, I had to take the sleeves off because they were just shattered, but it doesn't seem that it's, they were just a little tiny tulip sleeves, but it doesn't really seem to have affected the look of it, but they were organza. And I'm really hoping that the collar and the uh, little sash, and there's a cute little pocket on it, the they don't fall apart in the water i don't think they will i did a test earlier and they seem to be okay i need to put my gloves on before i touch the oxyclean so what i'm going to do right now is i'm gonna let this sit for a minute while i get my gloves and i'll be right back so this glove i only use it for this because you don't want any kind of other um stuff from washing your dishes or, or whatever to get on the clothes you also i don't want any oxyclean on any of my dishes so i have specific that's why i want to find out where my other one is i'll use this one from now on too but i have a much bigger metal thing pot dish container that's gone missing so i need to find out where that is but i'm just going to make sure that this is all soaked down you can see already even before i put the oxyclean in all the uh the dirt that's going on in here as you can see so now there are two ways you can do it from here um i prefer well some days it really depends some days i will put it on the um porch in the sunshine so that it can get some sun um and other days i you know we'll just if i'm lazy or if it's not sunny and warm out it is sunny and warm out now so i can't decide what i'm going to do but the stove in here has a pilot light that keeps the top of the stove pretty warm at all times which can be very uncomfortable in the summer here in los angeles but i do you know we do have really good air conditioning in the house so that helps but i'll show you what i'm going to do in that respect in just a minute okay Hang on for more. So in the end, I decided to put it outside because it is a really nice day. So it's gonna sit out here on my patio for a couple of hours. Um, we'll see how the progress is going. I might have to add more OxyClean. Uh, sometimes this process will take an hour depending on the stain. Sometimes it can take up to 24 hours. I really don't wanna leave this dress with the organza uh, detailing out in this water for 24 hours. I don't think that's good for it. So we're gonna come back in a couple of hours, probably about an hour and see how we're doing, if we need to add more OxyClean or if it's good to go the way it is. Okay, I'll put that in part two, stay tuned.